President Inkovic, uh, we are really grateful uh, that you're here. Your talk here will be on uh, the, the uh, reconstruction of the external genitalia and you have extensive uh, uh, experience with that. Can you a little bit talk about what uh, you uh, present here? It's very important for the urologist to understand uh, the new possibilities in the reconstructive surgery, especially in the reconstructive microsurgery where we can move the tissue from one part of the body to another according to the reconstructive requirements. Uh, and therefore, I think uh, this technique uh, uh, will be presented here to show many options uh, for very difficult uh, uh, external genital uh, organ reconstruction uh, because uh, there are a lot of requirements, not only anatomical, this is the functional, this is aesthetical requirements, patient's preferences, uh, and everything to put together to achieve uh, optimal results. What do you propose? The interaction between you as a plastic and reconstructive surgeon and the urologist? It has to be the multidisciplinary approach because generally the urologist will get the patient and actually in the, in the, in the cooperation with reconstructive uh, uh, plastic surgeon we can achieve I think the best results because we can offer you our technique and you will present us uh, your problem. I've seen uh, your results are just excellent and they are really uh, stunning sometimes what you can do. And uh, you think uh, we are exploiting as a urologist uh, uh, enough possibilities that you can offer? I think uh, uh, we are maybe not so well informed. Uh, we were very lucky working uh, together and having the information because the many uh, other specialties they have a really problem, but they don't know that the plastic or reconstructive surgeon could offer them some uh, solution. And I think if we have a better exchange of problems, we can, uh, uh, with our creativity, give you the more possibilities to achieve the really excellent. Now, uh, let, let's take the example of the penile reconstruction. Uh, what types of tissue do you take? What, what is, what is your, uh, the options? What are the, uh, the, the armamentarium for reconstructing part of the penis or the entire penis? Uh, you know, uh, in Munich where I worked, uh, uh, we have a great cooperation with the urologist. Uh, and they are bringing us the patients. Uh, and the, mainly we are using the facial cutaneous uh, flaps uh, innervated. It means that we can reconstruct uh, the penis, giving him actually the tactile sensibility, what is uh, very important for the patient. And did you test, for, the, for example, for the sensory uh, uh, nerve fun function? Definitely. We said, t test the two-point discrimination to see how it looks like. Does the patient feel the, the tip of the penis? Uh, and uh, if they have a sensibility, it could be used uh, for the further reconstruction to give them the possibility for sexual intercourse. Okay, so for, for the moment being, we are really very grateful uh, to have uh, an expert like you help us out to make uh, a better life for the patients. Thank you so much. It's a great pleasure to be here. Thank you for coming. You're very welcome.